With the holidays coming up, I know a lot of preppers out there are looking for gifts for their friends who might not be as prepared. So in this video, I've got 10 different stocking stuffer prepping gifts that you can get for your unprepared friends that are under $30. Hey everybody, it's Magic Prepper. And today we're talking about prepping gifts you can get for your unprepared friends that are under 30 bucks and are stocking stuffer approved. And these are just small gifts that could definitely help somebody think a little bit more about their personal preparedness. Whether or not they're into prepping or not, these are practical gifts that they could probably at least get some use out of, if not at least get some ideas about what they might need to survive. And if you're worried about trying to get your unprepared friends on board, then hit the subscribe button below because we need to do a better job at that because there's still a lot of them out there. We all know that eventually they will become marauders. So let's go ahead and talk about the first item on this list and that's gonna be the Gerber Dime. The Gerber Dime is a nice little multi-tool. It's not super expensive. It runs for about $25 and there will be links for every single item shown in this video down below in the description as well as in the pinned comment. So you can check them out for yourselves and then any purchase that's made through the Amazon links there will help support this channel. So. The Gerber dime is something I actually carried for a long time, as you can tell from the way it looks and just kind of how much wear it has on it. But it has all the basic tools you expect within a multi-tool and none that you don't need. And it also has the ability to be carried very easily. It's so small that it fits inside of the lighter pocket or the coin pocket on your pair of jeans. And it's still very useful and has been used quite a bit, at least on my end, to be able to do a variety of different tasks when I didn't have the right tools on hand. So for, to get somebody something that gets them a little more prepared and is easy to carry and isn't that expensive for what it brings to the table I definitely recommend the Gerber dime check them out and they're only 25 bucks so if you're looking for something for like a brother-in-law or a nephew or something like that perfect gift something that helps them be more prepared and they'll use it practically anyways okay the next item on this list is going to be a little more interesting to you but this is the light and plasma lighter combination from practical survival it's a plasma lighter tool that's a flashlight led of course that also has a plasma lighter built in and the entire thing is usb rechargeable so what's really cool about these is it's 30 bucks but you get two of them so basically they're 15 dollars a piece and what's nice about that is that you have multiple gifts from multiple people now everybody can use a flashlight nobody's going to scoff at the idea of a flashlight however with this particular model, they also get a plasma lighter. And what is a plasma lighter, you say? Well, obviously it's a lighter that uses an arc of electricity to ignite something like an accelerant or even something like a, a, a bit of tinder. But whatever you're gonna use it for, it still provides that ability to make fire using electricity that can then be charged via USB, which means solar generators can charge it, which means that your little power backup bank for your cell phone can charge it, which means your vehicle can charge it. And honestly, these, at least in my opinion, are perfect for in your vehicle. I don't carry one of these for my EDC, but I do have one in my truck because I feel like it's a good thing to have, a lighter and a flashlight that I can charge in my truck and have both of those options if I ever need them. So check these out, definitely cool gifts, and this gives you that kind of cool factor of, well, oh, I didn't even know this existed, or what's a plasma lighter, or oh, okay, this is a really bright flashlight. Yeah, well, look on the back. Oh, wow, check that out. So. Just thought those were a super cool gift idea and could easily fit into a stocking. All of these gifts are stocking approved. And as you can see, the Gerber dime will go in, the flashlight two pack will go in, everything on the table will go in. So, figured I'd get that out of the way so you're not freaking out about whether or not it's gonna fit in a stocking. Moving on from there, because we already talked about the flashlight and the plasma lighter combo, we might as well talk about one of the old standbys that is always good to have. It's very, memorable and it's something that everybody kind of wants even if they're not the most practical option but that's going to be a zippo lighter right so right now i know on amazon at least they have these zippo kits which comes with the lighter fluid comes with additional flints and it comes with the lighter itself and they're very affordable i think they're around 23 dollars so that's a good deal and that gets somebody everything they need to kind of get their zippo up and running so the Zippo lighter, of course, great windproof lighter. They are rock solid, they've been around forever and they get the job done. Now, it's not my number one go-to lighter for a few reasons, but like for my EDC, I carry a mini big lighter. But this is a much better gift and this is something somebody might hold on to. It can definitely become an heirloom and something that people find to be what you might say is valuable in uh, the way of sentiment, okay? So, 
It's definitely good for preparedness. It can start fires and that's huge in survival. And it gets somebody something a little bit more special that they'll be willing to hold on to and possibly carry around and possibly become more prepared because of having this. So tons of different options, tons of different graphics available, but if you wanna get the bare bones minimum model that comes with the lighter fluid and the flint, I think that's a good way to go to get somebody started so you don't buy them a Zippo that doesn't have any fluid or anything in it and they wonder why the lighter won't work. Don't make that mistake, trust me, that has happened before. Okay, so moving on from there. I'm trying to get a little bit of everything in the sense of you know categorically being prepared here covered for the people who don't have anything and so another good gift that will get somebody really thinking but definitely fits in a stocking and is important for people to have is going to be a tourniquet now this is one of the cheaper chinese made tourniquets okay this is not going to be one of your more expensive you know combat ready tourniquets however it still has a similar function of course and it can definitely be used for practice but buying somebody a tourniquet creates a conversation buying somebody a tourniquet is something they probably don't already own not everyone just has tourniquets you and I might because we're preppers and we're here to be prepared, but the average person doesn't even own a tourniquet. So this gets the conversation started. This makes them think more about their ability to take care of themselves if they ever have an extreme injury. And they're not that expensive. This one is $17, they're not too bad. And at the same time, you get somebody really thinking about whether or not they need a tourniquet. And now that they're thinking about it, maybe you can move the ball in the direction of even more preparedness, okay? Boom. Tourniquet covered, what's next on this list? It's gonna be something more fun and then just kind of gets like uh, uh, the cool factor, but that's gonna be this K-Bar bottle opener, right? So you get the aesthetics of a K-Bar grip, but you get the practicality of a bottle opener. And this might not be super imperative to preparedness, but what it is, is cool. And it has that kind of like tactical kind of aspect to it. And it's really inexpensive, this thing's 10 bucks. But everybody needs a bottle opener and everybody will use a bottle opener. And this one in particular is just kind of fun to have because it has that whole K-Bar feel to it. So K-Bar bottle opener, not a bad way to go. It has that whole, you know, allure to it. And at the same time, uh, people might ask more questions about it. Like what kind of bottle opener is this? And then you get to talk about something more exciting like a K-Bar and hopefully that preparedness whole thought process starts rolling in their brain. So after that, what should you get? Mylar survival blankets. What an easy gift and what a perfect stocking stuffer, stuffer stuffer, whatever that is. Perfect for stocking stuffing and getting people to think about their survival a little bit more. And these come in a four pack for like eight bucks. So if you wanna stuff a bunch of stockings with Mylar blankets, that might be the cheapest way to do it and still give somebody something that could save their life at some point in time. If you live in a cold environment and you know somebody that doesn't have one of these like in their car or in a bug out bag or anything like that, this is a great gift and it makes them ask questions like what is this for? Why would I need it? And it lets you open up that conversation to why this is a good idea. So keep that in mind. Mylar blankets, another great way to go. Very inexpensive. Like I said, $8 for four of them. Easy stocking stuffers, if you ask me. All right, moving on from there. Another inexpensive and easy stocking stuffer. We've talked about this recently, P51 can openers. We're all gonna be eating a ton of canned food in an SHTF event, right? Well, make sure you have a way to open that canned food and make sure you have something that's not gonna break down easily over time. And these P51 can openers will just be around forever. What's nice about these is that they're $9 for a four pack. So another very affordable way to spread the love of preparedness in people's stockings. And at the same time, not everybody's gonna know what to do with it, how to use it or what it is. So another good conversation starter, inexpensive, easily distributed, and it's something everybody needs. Even if they're not a prepper, people are gonna still need to open cans. If that can opener breaks one day, they might think, hey, wait a second, I remember that gift I got that one year. It's actually down in the basement and I'm gonna go get it and now we can open our cans again. And whoop de doo you just saved their life possibly. Probably not, but let's just say it anyway. So moving on from there, trying to make this relatively quick, okay? Sawyer Mini water filter. Water filtration is huge. And if you're gonna spend the money on a water filter, the Sawyer Mini is the way to go, let's be honest. It's 20 bucks, okay? And if they're ever in an emergency situation, they have a boil order, or maybe they're outdoors and they don't have a way to get clean water, this can save their life. And this is a very important piece of equipment that all of you probably have. But how many unprepared people have a water filter at all? 
So get them on one of the best ones that's out there that has all the additional accessories, like the, the pouch and the straw, and it has the syringe for doing the washing out of the filter and everything else that you need to use it for. So there's a lot of good things that comes with this kit, and they can also turn it into an inline system if they wanna use it with a water bladder. So Sawyer Mini's where it's at, and at the same time, you're definitely spreading preparedness. And like I said, they're $20, so you know not something that's easily distributed to a bunch of different stockings, but for somebody you care about, about who's not that prepared this could literally save their life so a great gift indeed all right moving on from there right in the rain right in the rain notebooks are awesome these are not affected by water the same way as other paper products are and these allow you to take notes in harsh environments so i think the right in the rain notebooks are a great stocking stuffer because you get a three pack of them for nine dollars so for three dollars a piece you get a cool piece of stationery basically that also brings up conversations. What's this notepad for? What's it about? Why is it right in the rain? And it has cool stuff like a ruler on it and all this other stuff too. But at the end of the day, you get to explain to them that having the ability to take notes and if all the power goes out and needing to take down any kind of intel you might need is very important. And then it gets them thinking more and more about that. So for a very cheap price of $3, you get somebody that something that's you know durable, water resistant, can be used in harsh weather, whereas most paper products cannot and you get something to talk about. So the Write the Rain notebook's definitely a good way to go. Check those out, especially if you don't have any. I put one in every bug out bag I have, every get home bag, and it's just something good. You know, it's even in my admin pouches on my loadouts because I just wanna make sure I can take notes if I need to, and I wanna make sure the notes I'm taking aren't gonna be destroyed after the first rain. Very cool thing to have, very inexpensive. I think they're a good idea. And the last thing on this list that's gonna be the thing you can just stuff the crap out of some stockings with is gonna be this BCB fishing survival kit. Now what's cool about this is it's really small, right? Small package, little pouch, it's 10 bucks, okay? So for $10, you're given somebody the ability to catch fish in a survival situation. Now, is that gonna apply to every single environment you're in? Maybe not, but this definitely makes a conversation starter. This definitely goes in somebody's junk drawer, but you never know if one day they're gonna think, man, I remember that gift I got that one year and here it is and we gotta go get some fish otherwise we're not gonna make it. And this is huge because another thing I keep in most of my bug out bags because why not? Being able to get more food if things go bad is important and fish is a huge source of food okay and it's easier to get in many ways than maybe trapping or hunting is in the sense of on land animals but at the same time this is just a fun conversation product as well so it's got the handle it's got the fishing line it's got the hooks it's got the weights the lures it's ready to go so that way you have an entire fishing kit in a tiny pouch and for 10 bucks an easy gift goes right in the stocking like i said before fully stocking approved. Look at that, you're ready to rock. Hopefully this whole list gave you some ideas. I'm just trying to help you out when it comes to getting your holiday stuff figured out. And let's be honest, everyone is less prepared than they need to be, but some people are extremely unprepared. And if any of these things on this list seemed redundant to you, that's good because you should have everything that's here already. But if you don't, or if you know somebody who doesn't, maybe you got some good ideas about little things that you can acquire now to try to give out and spread some of that preparedness love we like to talk about. Hopefully this was a good informational video for you. Links are in the description below as well as in the pinned comment. If you have any other questions for me, magicpepper.com and that is going to be it for Magic Pepper.